This lesson is on estimating square roots. Square roots of non-perfect squares, such as root 6, are called irrational numbers. They are called irrational numbers because they produce numbers that have an infinite number of decimal places. That is why square roots of non-perfect squares can only ever be estimated by decimals, even while using a calculator. Let's do an example and actually estimate the value of root 6. First, we need to find a perfect square just less than the radicand, in this case, 6. So what perfect square is just smaller than 6? 4. Next, we need to find a perfect square just greater than the radicand. So what perfect square is just larger than 6? 9. Now we know that the square root of 6 is somewhere in between the square root of 4 and the square root of 9. Root 6 is greater than the square root of 4 and root 6 is less than the square root of 9. Now all we need to do is take the square roots of these perfect squares and we'll have our estimate. The square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of 9 is 3. So I now know that root 6 is greater than 2 and less than 3. So for our estimate, root 6 is in between 2 and 3. Suppose we want a more accurate estimate of root 6, like to one decimal place. What we could do is create a number line using the square roots of the perfect squares on either end. So in this case, we would have the square root of 4 on the far left of the number line and the square root of 9 on the far right. Next, we would go from the square root of 4 to the square root of 9, placing consecutive square roots on the number line. Although this is not an accurate scale, it is useful for estimating. On the bottom of the number line, we would create another scale, this time going up by tenths. And on this scale, we would use the actual square roots of these values. Now, let's put the two scales together and find out where the square root of 6 would fall. It looks like the square root of 6 lines up nicely with 2.4. So this would be a good one decimal place estimate for root 6, 2.4. Now, say we wanted to carry this further. We wanted to get root 6 accurate to two decimal places. Well, another way we can check the accuracy of our answer and to get closer values is to square our answers and see how close we come to 6. So in this case, we'll start with our one decimal estimate of 2.4 and square it and see how close we get to 6. 2.4 squared is 5.76. If your value is too high, you would guess a lower value. If your value is too low, like it is in this case, we should guess a higher value. So we need to guess a higher value than 2.4. So let's try 2.5. We'll square 2.5 and see how close we come to 6. In this case, we get 6.25, which is a higher value than 6. We know 6 is in between 5.76 and 6.25. We know our square root of 6 must be in between 2.4 and 2.5. In fact, 6 is very close to being in the middle of 5.76 and 6.25, so our next guess should be very close to the middle between 2.4 and 2.5. Let's try 2.45. Keeping track of all these numbers in a more organized fashion, let's put them in a table. 2.45 squared is 6.0025, a very close estimate, but still a little bit too high. 
So our next estimate should be a little lower than 2.45. Let's try 2.44. We get a squared answer of 5.9536. This is a little lower than 6. So we know our two decimal estimate must be one of these two values. The closest answer to 6 is 2.45. As a follow-up to this lesson, you may want to see if you could estimate root 6 to three decimal places. Your next guess would be in between 2.45 and 2.44. Have a go at it. As an aside note, just a comment about the use of calculators in mathematics. At this level of mathematics, the development of a student's number sense and their ability to estimate are vital parts of the learning process. Calculators should be used primarily to check answers or on rare occasions to explore more advanced mathematical concepts. As always, use calculators with discretion.